Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Just wanted to mention for our patrons that we're doing a Q&A kind of thing for this month's video, so do put any questions you have for me in the comments of our post in the Patreon, and I'll have a look at them later this month. I haven't got very many yet, so any questions are welcome. In fact, if anyone who isn't a patron wants to ask a question, put it in the comments below and I'll add it to the list. Um, of course I'll only be answering it on the Patreon, but hey. Uh... <laughs> Starting off the news this week, a study published in the journal Science has looked into why water that used to flow across the surface of Mars disappeared. The specifics of this have been, and likely still will be, unclear. However, this study has now shed some more light on how this might have happened, with the researchers of this study suggesting that a lot of it became trapped within the crust of Mars. The study works with data that has been used from several different sources, including Mars orbiters and Mars rovers. Rather interestingly, if this massive amount of water did get trapped within Mars's crust, then much of it could still be there. And now over to Ben, who will hopefully have more news than I did this week. Thanks, Doc. Well, we've had some pretty fascinating paleontology news this week, including a paper published in Nature which has overturned a long-held idea concerning the origin of vertebrates. This needs some explaining, so let's do that. This is a lamprey, a type of living jawless fish. Now, when modern lampreys first hatch, they come out looking like this and are known as ammocetes. The interesting thing is that these ammocetes look superficially similar to another kind of living chordate called a lancelet, before they then grow up to look quite different and become a specialised predator as an adult. This change as they grow has therefore long been thought to be a prime example of something known as the biogenetic law, also stated as ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny, essentially the idea that as an organism develops, it experiences various stages where it resembles previous adult forms in its evolutionary history. This idea though is no longer considered valid at all and has many problems with it. Nevertheless, the development of the lamprey from amusite to adult has been suggested by some to be representative of the evolution of the earliest vertebrates with the amosite potentially being a model for early vertebrate anatomy. But now, this new paper has described the larval and juvenile forms of four different species of stem lampreys that lived in the Paleozoic, finding that none of the larvae have any features that look like the amosites of modern lampreys at all. Instead, they have characteristics that look more like adult lampreys, and a phylogenetic analysis of these newly discovered larvae shows that they actually occur in at least three different lineages, showing that this was a widespread condition and that the amosite stage is purely a specialisation of modern lampreys, and not representative of some relic of vertebrate evolutionary history. As well as this, the paper also finds that the last common ancestor of lampreys and their closest living relatives, the hagfishes, was probably a kind of predator that fed on large prey and did not have a filter-feeding larval stage, and as such, it suggests that the so-called ostracoderms, a very loose term for various jawless armoured fishes of the Paleozoic, would actually be better proxies for the last common ancestor of all living vertebrates than their lampreys and relatives are. So, a really very fascinating paper that indeed changes some of our perceptions of vertebrate origins, and just shows how much more there is to learn about this period in evolutionary history. Back to Doug in the studio. Well that's it for this week's 7 Days of Science, thank you very much for watching, and do remember to leave a question in the Patreon thing if you are a patron, and if you're not and wanted to ask a question that you might not get the answer to, then chuck them below. Have a great week and we'll see you next Wednesday.